what's going on guys got another episode for you today this is kind of impromptu this whole episode was inspired by a smell a really bad smell so today i'm going to be bringing you the 10 best gym fragrances to be keeping you smelling fresh and clean while at the gym and after the gym because nobody wants to be the stinky guy at the gym so if you want to know what this smell I'm talking about is, you're going to have to stay tuned. So cue that intro. Welcome back, Fragrance Family, to another episode of My Two Cents, the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. My name is Brian, and today's episode, we are going to be talking about n not being stinky. So... Here's the story. As you can tell, I just literally got back from the gym. Um, that's why I'm in a tank top and it look like I just got back from the gym or the beach, but I don't live anywhere near the beach. So I'm at the gym, working out, doing my thing, in my fortress of solitude, enjoying my serenity of working out. So I'm sitting there do, about to do some rows. And this guy sits down next to me at the lap pull down machine. And he lifts his arms up and grabs that pole. And the, the smell permeating out of his armpits was one of the most disgusting smells I've ever smelled. It smelled like Limburger cheese that had been sitting in your dashboard in the heat of August in Texas. I really hope that this man saw the look on my face. I was like... I got up and walked away. I walked to the opposite side of the gym. I actually like stuck my, my nose down my shirt just to just to smell my fragrance, to smell myself. Like it was terrible. It was god awful. He is now nicknamed Limburger Man. So that inspired me and started getting me thinking while I'm working out. I should do an episode on gym fragrances fresh clean cheap gym fragrances because you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a gym fragrance not a whole lot but there's tons of fragrances out there that are just really meant for the gym i've seen a lot of lifestyle coaches talking about what you should be wearing at gym how you should look guys y'all should not give a shit about what you wear to the gym it doesn't matter but you're not there to pick up girls and if you are you need to reevaluate why you're going to the gym and nobody wants to be that creepy guy picking up chicks at the gym especially if you stink but smelling good at the gym that's a whole nother thing you should always smell your best why you're gonna be sweating you're pumping a you know you're just pumping out some some body odor but there's plenty of fragrances to help cover that up while at the gym and after the gym so look, without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the whiffs and sniffs so first off Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Yeah, you got it. The Invictus Aqua 2016 dupe or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So not a great performer, but smells awesome. Top notes, bergamot, pink pepper. It's got some cardamom, aquatic sea notes in it. It's fresh, clean, and a little bubble gummy. It's perfect. It'll cut through that stank that you're putting off while at the gym and it's just a great smelling fragrance perfect for before during and after the gym next up i love the atomizer on this let's do that again we yeah all right mugler terry mugler's alien man this is such an interesting smell it's a woody leathery aromatic it, but it's got this nice sweetness to it um, i actually had a whole decan of this dump out of my car and for about two weeks my car smelled like alien man this is just a really good scent it's perfect for the gym it's not a great performer it's interesting it's unlike many other fragrance really i've ever smelled and yeah it's almost alien-esque because it's sweet clean leathery it's just delicious and Perfect for the gym. Next up, a super cheapy. Yeah, Salvatore Ferragamo's Aqua Essencial. Not the blue, just the regular. 
So this one has got a lot of florals in it. Uh, geranium, it's got C notes. It's just, it's, it's a very fresh fragrance. Now, unlike the blue, this does not have great performance. Uh, it's about four hours, but this will keep you smelling awesome. It's got mint in it too. Ooh. And I love the mint ac accord in it. It's just fresh, clean, and perfect to cut through your sweat. Next, Perry Ellis 360 Red. I don't really have much to say about this other than it smells like aqua de Joe. Not exactly, but pretty much. And uh, the bottle is very interesting. I'm not going to say what it looks like but I think you can figure it out. For the price you can get this at, at you can find it at a rack stores for like $16.99. Totally worth it. Again, performance, not that great. Neither is Aqua de Joe anymore, but this is aquatic, woody, perfect. Perfect for the gym. Next up, we're gonna do one I just reviewed. I'm gonna leave it right up here. So go check it out, and that is gonna be Dolce & Gabbana, light blue forever. That grapefruit. Grapefruit is amazing. Some people say that the grapefruit note kind of smells like B.O. I can see that. I love grapefruit. I love the note in this one because it's such a realistic, bright, juicy, bitter grapefruit. But I've been wearing this to the gym and let me tell you, I love it. Boy, the hotter your skin gets, the more this just throbs off of you. It is so stinking good. So uh, yeah. I know it's a little going to be a little bit expensive, but uh, this will last you past the gym. You can wear it before the gym for a few hours and still get the same performance. So check this one out. This one's a super cheapy and it's, it's just the best vet of a fragrance. Well, the fragrance line and that's Ancre Noir Sport. Yeah, I love this. What they did here is they added some mint and green notes to this already amazing vetiver DNA. And the price you can get this for, I got this for 27 bucks, fragrance net. Check it out. I've got the discount code down below in the description. All of the Ancre Noir, incredible. So this will help you smell woody, fresh and clean while pumping it out at the gym. It's got sport in the name. Need I say more? Next, we're gonna do Yves Saint Laurent. Y, E-D-T. Now, love this. Mm, fresh, clean, not great in performance, about four or five hours, depending on your skin. Mine, I get about four or five hours. Uh, but you can find them at discounters for a pretty good price. Um, it's just a very clean, fresh composition that is gonna just make you smell great while, uh, you know, bulking up. All right. This is the only one that I have from this house, and that's Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky. A lot of people are gonna be like, wait, whoa, whoa. You're wearing Lucky to the gym? I don't wear this just to the gym. I wear this in spring, summer, and fall. But I love this fragrance. This is, this is my favorite Paco Rabanne, well, out of the One Million line. Uh, yeah. It's fresh clean but has depth to it it's got this really nice sweetness to it but not too sweet uh women love this love it you will get compliments whether or not you're at the gym or outside of the gym this is a compliment getter and a confidence booster because when you get compliments boost your confidence as well as working out should also help boost your confidence think about that next yeah, Sean John, 3 a.m. Fresh, clean, again, depth. It's got this really nice fig note to it. It's got some cardamom. Do we need to talk about the, oh my God, that atomizer. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I got this for like 14 bucks at Burlington. Yeah, if you see this out, get it. I would say blind buy it. Why? You're not gonna get a sample of this. You're not. And if you, could, if you can find a sample, go ahead and get it. But I think this is just worth uh, just worth the money. The, the atomizer alone. I mean, hell, when this bottle's done, I'm probably just going to use that atomizer for something else. I don't know what. 
but it's it's a badass atomizer badass but the fragrance is great again not a great performer nah maybe four hours maybe that's on my skin i don't know about yours so but yeah if you see it get it it'll it'll cut through your workout last but not least it's the jason momoa of fragrances yep that is cool water aquaman I like this version of uh, cool water. I like, you could just wear cool water. Why, it's cheap, it's a dumb reach. It smells just so fresh, clean, walking through the countryside. Like, it's just a great fragrance and everybody, I mean, it's been around forever. It's an icon. But this has this really nice citrus and guyac wood um, combo. And the performance is pretty damn decent for this. I mean, Four to six hours, depending. Uh, does it smell synthetic? Eh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not expecting to get a whole lot of natural anything out of a 1999 pickup from Burlington, but this is, it's a really good fragrance and it's great for, you know, you can wear it casually, you can wear it to the gym, which that's what this episode's all about. And after the gym, just spray a few spritz on, make you it will make you smell like Jason Momoa. I guess. I don't I, I'm not don't hold me to that. But whatever. So there it is, guys. Ten great fragrances to keep you smelling fresh uh, while working out and well and after your workout. So do yourself a favor. Don't be the stinky guy at the gym. Don't be Limburger man. You know what I'm saying? That guy definitely needs to be like carrying around a shower everywhere he goes. God, I've never smelled something so bad. It was terrible. Anyways, that's my show. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing another episode later. This was just an impromptu that now I got to edit, but whatever. I really appreciate all of your support and love. Do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And if you've been watching for a little while, I mean, I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet. I don't know. In fact, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And if you haven't didn't watch through the entire episode, you're not going to know that. You're not going to know. And knowing is half the battle, right? G.I. Joe. Anywho, thank you so much again. And remember, you're so freaking beautiful. And uh, yeah, until next time, happy Centrails. Rats.